so in our previous videos we did learn about how to detect a cycle in directed graph so if you haven't seen that video you can go and check that video out so over there we did learn the technique that was using the dfs algorithm right the depth first search algorithm where we did use couple of arrays one was the visited array while the other one was the dfs visited array if you remember properly so just in case if you do not remember i'll highly recommend that you go and watch that video and after that you can come back and restart this video so over there we did learn about the dfs algorithm but what about if we want to do this using the dfs algorithm that is the breadth first search algorithm so the question is can we solve this problem using the bfs algorithm definitely yes so if you have seen one of my previous videos where i did discuss about the kahn's algorithm right where this was used to find the topological sort so we are going to use that algorithm to find if there is a cycle or not in a directed graph you must be thinking how so if you remember kahn's algorithm was finding topological sort and topological sort yes topological sort is only for only possible for directed acyclic graph so that means if the graph has a cycle for example if this graph has a cycle you can see there is a cycle so a topological sort is not possible for a cyclic graph a topological sort is not possible so you're going to use the reverse logic you're going to generate topological sort and if we are unable to generate yes if we are unable to generate a topological sort then we can actually conclude that it's a cyclic graph because we are going to we definitely know that the graph is directed so if we cannot generate a topological sort using the kahn's algorithm that we did learn in the previous video we can definitely say that the only reason we cannot do in a directed graph is because it does contain a cycle so just using the reverse logic to do this problem so if you want to know the intuition you can go and watch the previous video of topological sort where i've already discussed the intuition of kahn's algorithm so over there you can understand why if you have a cycle a topological sort cannot be generated so if you look at the c++ code how will you modify the code so that you can check out if a topological sort is generated or not so you know a topological sort is nothing but a linear ordering of vertices so i'm very much sure that this is the kahn's algorithm that we did learn in the previous video so what we can do is we can keep a count of variable right that is initially initialized to 0 and we know that this node which is getting out of the queue every time that was a part of the topological sort if you remember the previous video so what we are going to do is we are just going to do a counter plus plus and i am very much sure that if a topological sort will be generated then the number of nodes in that topological sort will always be equivalent to n because a topological sort is nothing but a linear ordering of vertices so the total number of vertices in the graph is n so if i can generate a topological sort then this count plus plus will at the end be n and if it is that means i have generated a topo sort and if i have that means the graph doesn't have a cycle so i can return a false but if just in case i was not able to generate yes just in case i was not able to generate a topological sort the count will never be equal to n yes the counter will never be equal to n and i will return true so this is the slight change we need to do in the kahn's algorithm where we just keep a counter if we are able to generate a topological sort that means there is no cycle if you are not able to generate that means there is definitely a cycle in it for the reason which we could not generate so again if i discuss the java code you know this is the kahn's algorithm so in order to check if the topological sort is generated or not we simply just put a count variable yes just put a count variable and the count variable initially states as zero and you know that this node that is getting out of the queue was always part of your topological sort so what is topological sort it's a linear ordering of vertices so can i say if there is a topological sort it will always have n nodes definitely yes so i can say i can do a counter plus plus every time i'm getting a node i'm doing a counter plus plus so at the end if i'm able to generate a topological sort that means i would have visited all the nodes so 
So the value of counter at the end will be n, where n is the total number of nodes in the graph. So I can say if counter is equal to equal to n, that means all the nodes were generated using the topo sort. That means I did get a valid topo sort. And if I got a valid topo sort, when will I get if it has no cycle, right? So that means there is no cycle. I can return a false. But just in case there is a cycle, I will never be able to generate n nodes in a topological sort. I will never ever get the topological sort using the Khan's algorithm. So I can say counter will never be equal to n and I can directly return true. I'm just using the reverse logic in order to use Khan's algorithm to detect if there is a cycle or not. So guys, generally if this question is asked to you in an interview, I will highly recommend that you tell the interviewer the DFS solution instead of the BFS solution because it is kind of a hacked solution. You cannot call it as a concrete solution. It is a hack that we are using by reversing the logic. That's it. So better if you propose the DFS solution if this question is asked in an interview. So guys, I hope you have understood the modification in the Khan's algorithm in order to detect if the graph has a cycle or not. So just in case you did understand, please, please, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in the next video where we will be discussing some other algorithm from the graph series.